from a total solar eclipse visible across North America, to Mars and Saturn appearing close together in the night sky, and to the peak of the Lyran meteor shower, here are all the astronomical events for April 2024. Keep watching this video to learn more about what will happen next. So, starting on April 8, we will have two events during this time. And the first one is the famous event called a total solar eclipse. The moon will pass directly between the Earth and the Sun, casting its shadow on our planet. The eclipse path will cross parts of North America, including Mexico, the United States, and Canada. The best viewing locations will be along the path of totality, where the moon will completely obscure the sun. Areas outside the path of totality will only witness a partial solar eclipse, so you have to be in the darkest line on this map to witness totality. Remember to use proper eye protection when observing the eclipse to avoid possible eye damage. The only time it would be safe to look at the eclipse directly with your eyes is during the few minutes of totality when the moon fully obscures the sun. However, when the sun begins to emerge again from the moon, or before the moon obscures the sun completely, it would be best to use solar eclipse glasses or look at the eclipse using a pinhole projection because the eyes are still gradually adjusting to the dark making them more vulnerable to sun damage if you look directly at the eclipse for too long. On the same day, we will also have the Moon-Venus conjunction where the thin, waxing crescent Moon and Venus appear close together in the dawn sky. However, they will be low to the horizon during this time, so you must have a clear view of the eastern horizon to find the two celestial bodies. Mars and Saturn will also be in the heavens during this time, allowing you to witness three planets in the sky at dawn. Look to the eastern horizon to witness this beautiful celestial pairing of the Moon and Venus. In astronomy, a conjunction event is where two celestial objects appear close together in the night sky as seen from Earth. We will finally have the new Moon on April 9, making it an excellent time for stargazing, especially for observing faint objects like galaxies and nebulae. It would also be the best time to do astrophotography because of their reduced moonlight all night long, giving you sufficient time to enjoy the night sky. The next full moon will be on April 23 and the first quarter moon on April 15. You can refer to websites like moongiant.com to know when the other lunar phases will be. On April 11, we will have three events for this day. The first one is the Mars-Saturn conjunction where Mars and Saturn will come close together in the night sky and have an angular separation of 6.5 degrees. Look toward the east before dawn to spot these two planets. Mars will appear reddish, while Saturn will look like a dim star close to Mars. The new waxing crescent moon will also conjunct with two heavenly objects, beginning with Jupiter where the moon will appear close to the most massive planet in the solar system before proceeding with the Pleiades star cluster, also called the Seven Sisters. Both conjunction events are visible in the west after sunset, making this a magnificent opportunity to photograph the moon, the Pleiades star cluster, and even Jupiter in one shot. Comet 12P Pons Brooks will also be in the night sky close to Jupiter during this time, but the moonlight might hinder the comet's visibility. The first quarter moon will then proceed to conjunct with the Beehive star cluster on April 16, which is an open star cluster with about 1,000 stars that is visible to the naked eye as a hazy patch of light. However, capturing the star cluster might become challenging due to the increased moonlight and the proximity of the moon to this open star cluster during this time. Finally, we will have the peak of an average meteor shower for this year called the Lyrid Meteor Shower. It occurs annually from April 16 to 25, come from dust grains left by comet C1861 G1 Thatcher. It peaks this year on the night of April 22 and the morning of April 23, reaching 20 meteors per hour on this night. The meteor shower is known for its fast and bright meteors, making this a magnificent sight to watch. Unfortunately, the glare of the nearly full moon will block out all but the brightest meteors this year. However, if you find a dark location from the city lights, you may still catch sight of some meteors. The meteors will radiate from the constellation Lyra but can appear anywhere in the sky. So, that's it for the highlight astronomical events for April 2024 guys. 
Sorry for uploading this one late because I got busy with college academics, especially with our anatomy and physiology subject. I also recently traveled to Bohol with my family where I took so many photographs, giving me less time to record and edit this video. But I hope you will witness some, if not most, heavenly events for this month, especially the total solar eclipse and the lyrid meteor shower because they are some of the most unique of celestial events to observe. Also, don't forget to keep your eyes safe during the total solar eclipse to avoid unnecessary eye damage. As always, clear skies and enjoy the universe before your eyes and see you next time.